Hey, welcome to my channel guys. Today I am doing something fun for the Crafty Maven. We decided that yet again we would do another hop this month. So we did one last month. So if you look in the info box, I'll try to have that video too. But this month we're doing something a little bit different for the hop and each of us are picking two letters and we're going to use ingredients if you will or products that have the beginning of that so I have V and E and so I'm going to use an envelope as you see my photo in there <laughs> super quick and then I'm using vellum as well so uh, I was going to use that other <laughs> piece of paper for my layout it had some pretty little um, mixed media on it and a piece of vellum and it looked really pretty but I got my photo on there and I don't know, it just didn't feel right. So here I'm trying something else. So I have this piece of nine by 12 and now I'm gonna use my sewing machine on it and attach the vellum. So I have that black and white piece of paper that's from Felicity Jane and my photo is still in the envelope. So. I wasn't planning on using my envelope this way, but it just worked out perfectly for a great like frame. <laughs> and I'm not a big frame person, but it worked out amazing. <laughs> I really love how it turned out. I love how that photo looks in there. And so, uh, like I said, I used my sewing machine to attach the vellum. And then I'm gonna kind of build a few layers and it's just gonna kind of come together. Um, it took a little while. I played around l quite a bit with stuff when, because it just wasn't coming together the, at first. And so I turned my camera off. So I will apologize that in a little bit, you're going to see a lot more done. So I was thinking about using that paper that has um, the different street names and stuff. I thought that it would work really cool. This street basically in that area is like the only street and this is um a bridge called deception pass in washington and it is super amazing so here we go again so we have more stuff going on actually i feel like did i not i'm not sure i sped this up so i guess we'll find out my video is not very long, so I might just leave it. <laughs> this is me in real time. Um, so I had played around with using some different papers behind, like coming out of the one side. Um, and I really like how that looked a lot better. Sorry about my head there. And so, but I used that clip to attach that. It's like a uh, postcard type of thing and then down at the bottom there's a picture for British Columbia but I covered up that and I just put that tag on there this is destination I'm gonna cut it it was really wonky when I started cutting it because it looked like it matched and then it didn't and boy that was bugging me so I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see me kind of play around with layers but I thought that it looked kind of cool like that it looks a little bit like stairs or something and a lot of that paper is from last year's Crate Paper Travel Collection. So it worked out nicely, I guess. The colors worked really well. And this was one of the things, is I was looking for colors that were gonna go with that picture because it was tons of green aqua colors. Like the water was this weird aqua color. That was beautiful, um, gorgeous. And then the greens from the trees and that bridge was kind of a green color. And so I feel like it had this, it needed those colors. <laughs> this is the one nice thing about having a ton of scrapbooking supplies is usually you can find a color that matches the color. So I'm going to use this puffy sticker of a, map, a world map. I just thought that it would work nicely there. So I'm adding that. And I'm really so almost done. I did not add a whole, whole lot. I added a little piece in with the layers. And then I seen this on my desk. And so 
this is the one thing that I will say is a little bit crazy for me. So I usually don't mix metallics. And this was has three different types of like metallics. So there's that holographic gold color, then the gold on the vellum, and then there's a copper color on the thing. But I don't know, it just worked. I really liked that because um, looking off of the bridge, you really felt like you were looking at this panoramic scene, like something that you would look through in one of those viewfinders. So just the view was amazing from there. So if you guys ever have a chance to go to Deception Pass. So I wanted to add just a little bit more black and white. And I thought that that worked really well right there. It's just a label. It's like, I know this, <laughs> the layering in this felt a little bit off to me. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, and it could just be because I had a really hard time getting into my mind frame to do something awesome. But then I just kind of went with it. And I was like, you know what? It doesn't have to be my normal because I used a picture that was a different size with that frame. So I just went with it. And then I found this marvelous piece on my desk. And I'm like, this works really good right down here at the bottom where that nasty grass was. The grass was not a beautiful color. Which was fine. And so yet another gold or metallic piece. But it worked really well. And so that's really just going to be my title. Sometimes you just need to use a, a word. And that's your title. And I'm okay with that. Really, it doesn't have to be much more complicated than that. And so I had these little gem things. And... The one color was like almost like that peachy color. So I'm going to put a couple of those on there. I thought about adding some hearts. You're going to see me use some in a minute. And then I decided, you know what? No, I don't need to. So definitely make sure you check out the rest of the ladies who are participating in the hop. It This was really fun. I'm really glad I could... Uh, get in my room and create something because <laughs> sometimes these challenges are just what you need. Like I've not had a ton of time to scrap lately and so to be able to do these challenges really is a fun way to get some creative time but to have a direction and I think sometimes that's important, right? Sometimes when you're all over the place and you sit down and you're like, what am I going to do? And having some kind of challenge is a great way to just kind of spark that creativity. So I had these little pieces. They also, I believe, are from the Crate Paper Collection. And I don't know. They really, they don't need to be there. But they were just fun. And they matched with the papers. And they're just fun. Sometimes I just like to add fun things. It really doesn't have a rhyme or reason. But they're fun. And... <laughs> When I get this in the protector, I have no idea how it's going to work, but we'll, we'll figure that out. I might have to move the clip up to the top and just let it kind of hang out. And I'm going to have my journaling on there later. You won't see me do the journaling. I do put the date on there. But like I said, definitely look in the, the info box below. You'll be able to find all the links for everyone else. And we'll try to have a playlist over at the Crafty Maven Getaway on their actual channel. And so you can follow along with all the other ladies. It was super fun. So I hope you guys uh, take a couple of the letters from the Crafty Maven name and make a layout too. So I'll see you guys later and have a great and creative day.